Just to make it like our like the normal videos we used to make. Yep. All right. Thanks. And we're back. So let's uh, just. Are you sure? Yeah. Hey, I'll I'm tell. Hi. Oh, they're in Boston. To go behind the scenes to hear some untold stories about the making of. Yeah, this is a documentary. I mean, Rod's made. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have made this. I guess we're gonna, yeah, enjoy it, friends, and enjoy. Now you don't have to buy the game. Let's talk a bit about the theme and setting of Bioshock Rapture. Uh, and I think a lot of people, when they played the game for the first time, can they wondered, how did you even dream up this place? And I know you said publicly before that part of the reason you sort of what led you to Rapture was this idea of. I mean, not to be annoying. There's been plenty of stories about cities under the sea and the frustrations you had with other games where there you. Sort of hit a bound. I think our philosophy is, was always to do what we were doing 100% rather than try to do something bigger and like do Columbia? 50% or 40%. <laughs> so, you know, one of the ideas of, you know, and this sort of came from System Shock 2 as well, where you focus on an area that you can really bring to life and you kind of eliminate the questions of, well, why can't I go over the bridge to New Jersey? So we were able to really make a place, I think, that felt believable and real, even though in actuality it was really quite limited, but we just sort of dressed it with all these buildings outside that were all, you know, they were all basically glorified fakes. It let the story drive what we needed to show rather than some kind of like predetermined map which we sat down, which is a little different than like System Shock 2 where we actually mapped a spaceship out deck by deck. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't know what System the Shock 2 map is so tight. There because you want to feel like a real spaceship. That was Literally sort of and figuratively. Rapture was free to sprawl across the ocean. I haven't played it much, but I've watched some people play it. Talking about doing this game on a sort of spaceship again, right? Yeah, when we first started talking about what the spiritual successor to System Shock 2 is going to be, Spaceship came up. Question, again, how we, long we, are these? We wanted a limited environment. No clue. We didn't necessarily want to do Spaceship again. And our first actual spaceship. exploration of this space was underwater, but ultimately ended up looking like a spaceship. It just happened to have a just like Soma. Mm. Seaweed prawns out Which you said outside. was this morning, right? It started to push us towards It was so uh, cool because it reminded me of this statement yeah. that we wanted to make to make this look different and what rules we were going to set for the world. How at every turn we were going to try to remind the player that they were in fact underwater and that this wasn't a spaceship. And how like underwater, we obviously know you did underwater then in the sky. Like what where did you come up with the idea of like doing this underwater? I think there was probably a conversation. It's like, well, w what kind of places could we cut off from from yeah. other places? Yeah. Like, well, you know, uh, space. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see my shot at a summer and camp. It's like a, one of those horror cut movies off from the rest of the world. Yeah. So you never felt like you should be able to go. Why New Jersey? Just out of curiosity, you know, why that keeps coming up. Meaningful conversation. I think it was one of those ideas that you just kind of say, and then everybody, huh, ah, that well, sounds cool. Let's try that. Let's that. let's right. go for it. And, and it, I, th I think it lended itself to having very nice views out the window without having to build an insane amount of unique assets. Right. By today's standards, we still were a small team back then. And there's an expectation that because you're underwater, the view distances are going to be short. So you can really kind of fade out into the fog at a short distance and not have the expectation that, why can't I see <laughs> forever? So there's a lot of limitations in the way that we put on ourselves by, by being underwater, as opposed to like, if you're on a cruise ship, then you'd expect to see across the water and we'd have to deal with that. Same thing with an island. Or in a city outdoor. in the sky. Where yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which was a lot more complicated, yeah. yeah. So you, you came up with the idea of, let's do this underwater, let's do this sort of isolated place. Then you had to answer the question of, you know, why would someone build this? Is that sort of how it worked, sort of order of operations? You then had to come up with a story to explain? Yeah, uh, it w I think the we wanted a very believable reason why they'd be there. Right. And sort of the, the necessary isolation of, of the place sort of led to, well, what kind of person would want to do this? And um, I don't oh, know, my computer's blowing up. Political implications of what I was reading, but I can't handle the documentary. The fountainhead. Oh, um, by the fountainhead? I mostly thought it was an interesting story. Like, I didn't realize that people were sort of basing their sort of political totally. lives around it because yeah. um, I wasn't really <clears> tuned <throat> in to that stuff at that point. And so, but I love the the dialogue and the kind of speechifying in it because it, you can see a video game character speaking with that kind of certainty and that kind of confident um, philosophy. 
it just seemed like a, a natural a natural kind of thing to apply to, to this. Interesting. Person. So it just sort of all but he used Fountainhead and not as sort of Atlas Shrug. Is so is that a myth? Well, that he no. Uses? You know, that's that uh, those are books by Ayn Rand. Sort of this amalgamation of characters from Fountainhead is too. Ayn Rand what is Fountainhead her book too? Oh, okay, I didn't realize that was hers. Yeah. Says, well, uh, those are on my read list, or at least Atlas Shrug. But it's world. like a thousand pages. Like Andrew Ryan. Yay! And anagram for and it. Anne Rand. Is it? Kind of, yeah. Is a man not entitled Anne Rand. To yeah, I think he's. Andy Ryan. And the no, in the Vatican. The in the Vatican. God. He belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow. It belongs to everyone. We knew from a technical standpoint that we wanted isolation. We also knew to sell it, we needed a compelling storyline. Yeah, it doesn't have a compelling storyline. Otherwise, how are we going to make Rapture feel like it's lived in if we don't have the reason for it to be there? So w once, once we decided on the underwater location and then the closed off spaces, that objectivist story kind of s came in and came in and made, and made the art stronger and made the level design stronger because we could feed I think he's talking about the story of this. Okay. Which I think is good. But yeah. The we want people to character why story is not good. There. And so yeah. he makes this very personal one-to-one -one pitch to the gamer, but also that was the pitch he'd make to people, yeah. which was, you know, there's a place that you can be free of all these things, that you can not be sort of put no. out by the government and not be afraid of nuclear war and not be afraid of all these other things that um, will plague you on the surface. And we wanted that pitch to sort of resonate and make sense because that's otherwise by the time you got there you'd be like well this place is just fantasy nobody would ever come here and that the beauty of the place also was also tied into that it had to be a very attractive proposition or people you know, who would believe that people would go leave their lives and go to the bottom of the ocean i'm sure in some ways you had to convince the team and enroll them in your sort of vision of you know who this character was going to be and what the setting was going to be. How, how did that work, Sean? I mean, did Ken come in and say, hey, I've been reading these books, and I think we could sort of... I believe he just came in one day on a on a horse and said, <laughs> and ran, everybody read The Fountainhead. Exactly. I bought uh, 30 copies of The Yeah, I, I think, you here's know... A seven, here's a 2,000-page <laughs> book or something. Yeah. Go, go read it. I mean, it really is more organic. It, you know, like I said, we knew that we had this location, and you struggle to fill it with stories, and you struggle to find meaning of why why does this place exist, you know? What's my motivation? And as Ken started to explore Ayn Rand um, a little more and started talking to us about it, and we ha were having that conversation, and it's like, oh, this could totally work. Like, this is exciting. Like, this is something that really hasn't been done in a video game before. And if we had flipped it and come up with the idea first before the location, I don't think we would have really been that excited about it. But we had a location and now we're trying to fill it with, with that story. And, and because of the order of operation there, you start to get excited, like, oh, I could totally make this work. This, this, this is going to uh, really make it feel like a lived-in space. <laughs> you know, as you think of sort of the, you know, the setting and you think of maybe a character or something, was there a moment that you, you think back, it's like, oh, like right then and there, like I, I got excited when you attached the For, for me, it was, going, it was going to Rockefeller Center yeah. um, and seeing the visual. Uh -huh. so I, you know, I've told this story before, but I, w my wife and I were in New York, and we went to Rockefeller Center, which was, if you go to Rockefeller Center, it basically looks exactly like Rapture. It's because yeah. every building, it, you're sort of encircled. It's this block in New York, or a couple blocks in New York, where Radio City Music Hall is, and um, the 30 Rockefeller Plazas, where you can see that show 30 Rock, and the ice skating rink, and where they put the Christmas tree. And it's this very iconic location, but what's cool about it, it's all one, unlike the rest of the city. Everywhere you look, it's one um, architectural style. It's Art Deco. Oh, I was in this weird Very building two summers ago. It was like all Art Deco. It was a there, little we odd. Did you feel like you were in Bioshock? A little bit. Uh, all of a I, around, <laughs> I would love to go in a, to oh, a place like this. Could be and like, and it really didn't make sense. Game. Also, Art Deco the, the geometry of it was actually quite conducive to making a video game because it wasn't overly complicated geometry. Art Deco is quite bold and simple. Bold and geometric, yeah, and simple. And so my wife and I bought a couple of tourist cameras before, this is before iPhone right, cameras, exactly. you know. <laughs> throw away cameras, yeah. Yeah, yeah throw away cameras, yeah. the little Kodak things, and we just started photographing doorknobs. Sounds like a fun <laughs> date. Pictures and <laughs> well, if they're into that, I'd totally be. <laughs> that would be <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Brought them in and said, Oh, like, the office, here's a stack of stuff, Sean. Take a look. I'll uh, see you guys in a couple of years. Yeah, exactly. go, go make this. Uh, 
artist would not be insensitive, where the scientist would not be Are they taking the clips from the remake? Yes. From? Okay. They're remake. Yes, the it does look like crap, though. <laughs> it does. I don't know why. Yeah, there's no jellyfishes in the original. We all want them fish. I think this is it, right? Oh. You had kind of yeah, this is oddly long. This is pretty long. Oh! oh. Let's keep moving! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that was long. Now that it was boring, but like, it doesn't feel right to play that necessarily. It's super long in the middle of the game. You ruined the flow. Oh, we got some bread. How do I... Okay, this is up. Yeah, I hate it when... Why do I need to stand up? <laughs> what? I shocked you. Ah, this works. <laughs> oh, wait. What? Gun, I'm shining. Where's that pistol? You got two pistol rounds. I'm gonna change the control. Uh, don't. Not inverted, right? No, no. I would never do inverted. Well, we all know. My fiance plays inverted. That's why we all hate her. <laughs> Divorce her. <laughs> However that works. So, I don't like I can't how... switch it. Okay. Whatever. Why don't you like the duck and the jump? Yeah. I don't like the no, jump. No, the duck. What's the jump? Why? Oh. I don't like that either. Um, no, I have a problem with the duck. All right, how do I plasmid? How do I help? Oh, yeah, okay. it was what B? Uh, yeah, B. Yeah. Welcome to Rapture. Ah, it's burning. All right. <laughs> I've played this game too many times. <laughs> I mean, I haven't played it as many times as you, but I played through this probably th the first hour probably three times. <laughs> All right. Oh, look, we just need to go here. Oh no. What does that mean? Whoa! Uh oh! Wait for it. More people will jump in the water. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, was that not gonna work? <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Come on, game. Throw me a bone. Yeah, but well, when do you know exactly what it's gonna I do? Know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just messing. Oh, oh, no. I'm lost. Where are you going? Oh, I'm just checking out stuff. I... Like a Bethesda game, you can sort of use all the toilets, but not really. Just... Oh, this is not good, guys. You didn't put water before in there. Come the water on. just... Like, yeah. Not good. Oh, there we go. Ooh. See, that's why you gotta explore. Do we wanna do story time? What? Story time with Jordan. I, sure. I, I drank alcohol for the first time today. Whoa! And it was the most anticlimactic thing that ever happened. Wait, what did you have? I had well, I had a hard lemonade. Oh. Which tasted like lemonade with like a little stronger. And then I tried everyone's beers, and I was like, oh. Anyways, it was. <laughs> I liked it all, but it wasn't, you know. That's why you're so excited to play. <laughs> Just to say that. No. Oh, no. Oh, you're insinuating I overdrank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I like, I felt nothing. Oh, no. This game, really though, for first time playing, this is everything. It's so tense. Yeah. Like, this, dude. If I'm playing this alone still, this Yeah, you're still facing this way and you just see the light, you're like, what? <laughs> and then you keep turning, you're waiting for the door to open, and then you'll see people will come in. And... Yeah, 
Wait, is that you slowly panning in? Yeah. Oh, that pop-in, though. That was terrible game. Where's the one on the... No. No! What am I to do? Did I hit him? No. Oh. What is up with the weird... I wonder. Popping lights. No, they never come in. They don't. <laughs> the arrow. <laughs> it's just like... Go! Go! Uh. Alright, 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 alright. What is that? You died. <laughs> you waited too long. No. It said Levine. Oh no, it it took me there. <laughs> it, it see it in the New Year screwing around. <laughs> oh no. Oh jeez, what is going on? It's like having a I'm loading the textures. Here we go. What is it? Oh, this is where you get the box. Yeah. Was it you that liked the hacking? Game? I love the hacking in this game. You want to do hacking? I don't know how I, if I'm good at. I'm not. Oh, probably not fast. Actually, this. I also do like the hacking. In this game. <laughs> how do I? Oh. 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 Wait. Oh, I don't. Okay, I'm having a little. No. I'm having a hard time getting used to this. Got it. Then what's the button Why? to make it fast? Yeah! I'll hack this one. Yeah. No. no. Yeah, I like doing it on the computer better. Oh, it's so much faster, easier with the D-pad. Really? This one. looks in the remastered. Too shiny? Yeah, I liked how dirty and gross it looked in the other one. And it. Alright, little buddy. Let's keep moving. Keep away. Heck? Oh no. Something. Something's hitting you. There he is. There you are. <laughs> the off. That was weird. I I don't think I like having the little buddy. This isn't the same thumbnail I used to have. No. Okay. Hey, what are you talking about? That. Yeah, it's different. It's just for the stream. Now here it's a little bit better, but it doesn't make much sense. The reflection. Yeah, this stuff seems to be very hit or miss. All right. Oh hello. Oh, I missed. You missed. <laughs> it's a machine. I hate the machine gun. It's so inaccurate. Yeah, that's why I like the wrench. I like shotguns. That was real.
This is how you Bioshock, people. Hello. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, they're just like... I really like that. Ah, stupid machine. Yeah, I know. Like, Ruining my combo. There are no combos. The one, the classic one two punch. The one two punch. I feel like I missed something. Well, you should search the bodies. Yeah. Search every body, every lock box. I love how they leave back lock boxes. Like, here, thank you for looting me. Yeah. Ah, same in, uh, they have the lock boxes in infinite, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. They're gonna just follow you eventually. Yeah, I know. Right? Is that how it goes? I don't remember. Yeah. They're gonna show. There we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, you look hurt. Oh. Better. Okay. Huh. All right. Oh, I hacked this. This about you. I'll buy two. <laughs> the clown, it's a gosh. Remember when Brian Oh, this is not a good look for you. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a ghoul from <laughs> Fallout. Yeah. Oh. Hey, what's stopping me from walking back? There's a hand back. There's a hand back. What? A hand back. Oh. No. Uh, I don't. I don't do. Hmm. I don't approve. Oh, uh, jeez. <clears throat> <laughs> Broken. Okay. Bug. Yep. There's no bugs in the root. Well, at least when I, I've never had bugs. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. Although lots of people complain about bugs. I've never had bugs. Oh. Uh, oh, good. Oh, I'll do no harm. I love this diary. Da -da -da. This is gonna be useful. Oh, hello. What else? What's up to you? Remember, all machines will short out right and proper if you hit them with 
Tak. Oh, they're uh you see here. Where is it? <clears throat> Gracias, señor. Ooh. Okay. Uh, faster. Oh. There, there, there we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, uh, no, right there. Right there. Okay. Ooh, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I need a straight one. Oh yeah, right there. You know this path is clear. Clear. You're a free bird. Need more. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Oh, there, there. Yes. Haha. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> uh, Alright. It has been brought to my attention that some citizens have discovered ways to hack the vending machines. I should not need to remind each and every citizen of Rapture that free enterprise is the foundation upon which our society has been established. Parasites, Parasites will be punished. Thank you, Ryan. Are you a parasite? On the surface, the <laughs> parasite expects the doctor to heal them Ooh. for free, the farmer to feed them out of charity. How little they differ from the pervert who prowls the streets looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque oh, no. amusement. Now we know Obamacare, evil. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just like the perverts. Hello. Uh, we need to go to the inter eternal flame to get the fire ball. Hello. <laughs> oh no, that little, that little, uh, little oh, oh. Diamond kills. So if we both go and get one, the other. Will they have oh. bagel with this? Tomorrow? Uh, they should. Where are you going, dude? Is that what you oh, you don't get that. Never mind. That's a... Uh, one dude, get, what are you doing? I'm gonna kill him. You are wasting first age hits. Nope. Uh, well, no, it was a waste of first It was. Hits. How could you? This is a survival horror game. Oh, I got special ammo. You know, this game is, like, not even supposed to be a survival game, per se. Security cameras. Mm. But, um... There's, like, less ammo in a game like this than, like, Fallout. Yes. Where, like, there actually is supposed to be a shortage of ammo. 
I, I know you said you didn't really get into the Metro game, but like I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Something yeah, about... people like that those games. Yeah. They're not bad games. I just personally didn't like them. Yeah. I like that. I like the atmosphere. I like. I don't know. I guess I can't. I haven't been able to put my finger on it quite yet. What I really like. something about it is fucking. Yes. Hey, it's the controller. The what? Just forget it. It's a dumb joke. <clears throat> Oh, clicking? Yeah. Clicking. You don't have to. <laughs> yeah, so it's a dumb joke. <laughs> <clears throat> you don't have to draw it out. It was dumb as it is. <laughs> ideal. Does it go to ideal? Wait, I, yeah, I didn't even realize. I never did. No. Boo! This game sucks. Oh, Ooh. look at the fine powder. You mean the person's ashes? Yes. You're... Oh. Yeah, I'll beat your corpse. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Mediocre. Alright, alright. <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to be out yet. Yeah, you're supposed to wait till we get the Why plasma. Why is it working? So it'll teach you how to use the plasma, because great game design, right? This, this is all messed up. Yes. Yeah, this... Yes. I love these things, they're so funny. Warning. Fire spread. Evolve to death. No, the... This room is different. I am pretty sure this room is different. Than it was in the original. I don't think it is. The shape of it. No, not this part of it. Like, where the door is located in the room. Uh, I think it's off. I don't know. It feels off. I do... They do a really good job of teaching how to use them. Yeah. Even though you really these, this this isn't very complicated, but uh, one thing that kind of all right, we all know. I mean, I like Bioshock Infinite better than this game, but one thing I didn't necessarily appreciate in that game was how arbitrary the um what do they call them in that game? Not the plasmids. They call them something else. Figures. Yeah. They were kind of arbitrary. And like where they were. Mm. There's only a couple points where it was like progression related, like they all are in this game, where you yeah. have to get them to continue. There were a couple of those, but then there's a couple, like fucking Bronco, like who cares? Like a couple that were a little like. Yeah. Oh, I love. Oh, yeah. Presenting them as cubes and other abstract forms. The world called him a genius. I've spent my entire surgical career creating the same tired shapes over and over again. The upturned no. nose, the cleft chin, the my turn, yeah. ample bosom. Yes. yes. Wouldn't it be wonderful if <clears throat> I could do with a knife? Just wait for um, it to... Yeah, and, and then... Yeah, I'm gonna cut it. <clears throat> Alright. Audio. See you next part. Amigo.